though there is no differential loading, but because of the slope, it will start moving. So what will happen here? Now you will be able to understand this part. Here the movement will be less. Unless you create an imbalance about its density. So the density inversion took place. Then it will start moving. As long as this density inversion is not there, it will be there. So follow this point or not tell me. You know, what will happen here? What will happen then? This hard to move. Here pressure is more. No? The differential loading is taking place on these two places. So here you try to press, you know. This hard will start moving this way, no? Again differential loading. So this hard will start rising, you see. Salt will start rising. Here, salt will flow downward. It may accumulate somewhere, or it, if it is open, you know, open ended, it will come out. Here, it will come out. If open ended, they will come out. But in this case, though horizontal, but because you have different amount of sediments, you know, or the overburden at different places. So there is a differential loading, so salt will rise where the load is less. That is what, no? the salt will accumulate here and they will start rising. Now, these type of situations, you know, these type of situations happens on the hill slope or the delta. Hill slope or delta. This two. Open end, I told you. Now, suppose this is a heel slope. So inside the heel, you have some salt with the overburden. So this salt will start flowing down, you know. So all along the heel slope, you will get wide marks or the salt layers, salt glaciers. Similarly, in the delta. So delta sometimes rises. Because of the sea level change, the delta you know, goes up. You understand, na? The sea coast they rise. So in that case, if this type of situation is there, you know, as you go from the sea shore, the uh, height of the topography, or the topography rises. So a salt patch, even if it is horizontal, you know, because of differential loading, this will start flowing into the sea. To understand this part now. So this is called differential loading. Here there is no differential loading. But if there is an inversion of density, then some fracture or some fault, you know, some fracture or fault, if it is there, the salt will start moving further. If density inversion takes place. At particular depth, depth uh, density inversion takes place. Clear, na? Now, <coughs> if you understand what is differential loading, so we learn what is differential loading.
that I drag this. Okay now. Now so I go point by point so it will be easier for you to remember you know. Now so first is drag to that. Next one, what will happen, you know, when the material is withdrawn, you know, this salt thickness will be reduced. It will become like this, you see. So it will create a, this strata, all will bend like this, it will bend like this, this strata will bend like this bend like this. So these are called mini basins. Mini basins due to due to withdrawal of salt from the immediate vicinity. So depression will happen. That is called a mini basin, or it has a different name called mini ring syncline. Sorry, it is also known as ring syncline. Ring syncline. Understood, na? Now, let us see one more diagram. Draw. Ha, na? Suppose this is your Salt type. These are the mini basins. These are the drag holes. You see? These are the drag holes. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, this is continuously rising. Sediments are coming. So, type is rising continuously. Rising continuously. And sedimentation is happening. Sedimentation is also happening. So what will happen? You see, the next batch of sediments. You know, is it over? Suppose past diving took place to this extent. So whatever strata were existing. They all bend and a basin form, rim syncline form. Now, suppose this stop here. So at this moment, whatever sediments will come into the basin, they will be deposited here in horizontal beds, isn't it? Like this, like they will again fill up. Then density inversion will take place. All these things, they will start rising. This is a cyclic. So this surface, you know, this surface. This surface, you see, and this surface. See, this surface. So, I am clear. What will you tell me about this surface? Okay. It is the organic parameter, no? See, because here beds are dipping in this manner, but these beds are horizontal. Okay. Now, suppose these are the sediments. This is the sediment. 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 Understood now? Now again this will rise. This is not stopping here. Depending upon the amount of salt present or thickness of the salt bed, this rising will take place. So this strata, which is deposited now, there will be again pairs. Again puncture, another set of drag hole will be produced. Again so one set of drag hole will be produced. Suppose it is puncturing here again, you see. It will bend like this. So what will happen to this strata? This strata will bend down there, like this, you see. Again horizontal beds will start forming over it. So it is chain of unconfirmity, you know. Will develop surrounding the plug. 
So, jetzt sehen wir. So, you get number of the sum, the fermity. So all will be inside that syncline. Now depending on how much salt is there, how much withdrawal is taking place, what the rise of the dome, so number of unconfirmed will be decided. Up to this point clear now. So these are called unconfirmed. Now these Certain point of time, next or fourth, huh? fourth picture. So what are we doing? Just time. You see, this is your diagram, and these are the sediments. You see, this is the situation. Now, before PRC, before it goes cross into it, you know. So there is the situation, you know. Well, it's just it's a continuous process. We are thinking these are sitting horizontal over it, you know. Tomorrow morning they will rise. It is not like that. Continuously it is happening. So if it is continuously it is happening, this surface, this surface, you know, we have a circular depression. Why? Because it is like this. We are putting from this side. So all will be, you know, on the tension. So they will be expanding like this, you know. When they are expanding like this, cracks will develop. Something like this, you see. Any place. Follow this diagram. Something depression like this. Because things were earlier horizontal. Now you are putting like this. So they will all break apart. They cannot hold it together now. So there will be collapse. So a radial depression will form with radial joints, circular joints, like this, you know. There will be some circular joints, radial joints, you know. Initially it will come. Initially it will be standing up. But as more and push happens, what will happen? They will crack. That is the thing. They will crack and start subsiding. Once crack happens over a liquid substance, it is a liquid, you know. They cannot float. The substances cannot float. They will start to subside. So a ring shut up. A conical subsidence happens. A conical subsidence. You know? तब कोलाप्स ऑफ़ द ओवर बॉडी, कोलाप्स ऑफ़ ओवर बॉडी, अंडरस्टैंड ना? तो दिस विल बी मार्क हुई सर्कुलर और कंसेंट्रिक कंसेंट्रिक फ्लेक्सर्स और जॉइंट्स कंसेंट्रिक जॉइंट्स और रेडियल फ्लेक्स और रेडियल जॉइंट्स Understand this part now. Why it is happening? So during volcanic eruption, what happens? That plume that comes from below. See, initially it will be a dome. Initially it will be a dome. But later on, what happens? It is a liquid thing, you know. So the whole thing will be expanding. From below, you are pushing like this. This part is expanding. When it expands, cracks will develop. When cracks develop, means subsidence happens, you know. Only because you are having a liquid melt, you know, at the bottom. They will try to sink inside this liquid melt. So subsidence happens. So that is why this sort of cracks develop. Radial as well as constant. So this is the expression of a salt dome on the surface. So if you take a remote sensing data, you know, remote sensing cover, like a satellite image, so you will find this type of circular features in the sediment return we are talking about. We get the circular features. 
which may indicate 